Now what you want to do is you're going to want to take this off maybe with like some of these so pull that spring out pretty easy right they sell a tool to do it better but you can use this take that one out okay you can pull this off now and then these are held in place with these little guys I'm gonna get all new hardware, so this will all be good. You know, this is all rusted. You don't wanna, you don't wanna reuse these rusty pieces. So that comes off, and then this comes off. Use a flathead. I'm just being lazy, and I have this here, so I'm trying to make it work. So you push in and you turn, and it unlocks it out the back. There we go. See, that's it. That's how you take the brake shoes, the parking brake shoes off of an Infiniti. G35, all wheel drive. I think the two wheel drives are the same thing. Okay, this is how you put the brake shoes and stuff back together, okay? So you wanna get the hardware kit, make sure you get this because you don't want to put this rusted stuff back in there. All right, it doesn't make no sense, it'll break. New shoes that look like this. This wider side, you guys see that wider side goes on the top and then it has a smaller side that goes on the bottom, okay? This is held in with this clip. You push in with the flathead, you turn it and it comes out and then to put it in, of course, you push it, turn it and it locks it in place. So that's the first step. Get that on, get that locked in in place. And then you wanna get the second one locked in in place. So again, the big side goes on top, small side goes on the bottom. We got this set up, our locking mechanism. I'm gonna go here, attach it to the bottom. Okay. This in here. Oh, keep that thing straight. It's a little tricky. And then on the back, you can see this locking mechanism. It's, it's really self like, you'll be able to see what I mean. You push the side in and then you turn it to lock it, okay? I don't know why I can't get a grip on this thing. push this and make sure it doesn't pop out on you okay same thing on this side just push it and make sure it's locked now let's get our adjusting piece all right put some grease in on one side if you have it uh, let's go like this You have to move it around, guys, so that it can sit on the right pieces of metal. Let's go like this. Cool. And then remember, this spring goes where at the bottom, right? If this opens up a little, just close it actually grab close it some and we're gonna put this through here grab it on the other side with our pliers and we're gonna pull it to the other side okay Sometimes it'll do that, no worries. Just get it back in there. Cover 
coming. Grab this. I'm gonna try the flathead method again, so. You wanna make sure this is closed, guys. All right, it has to be closed. It can't be too looped out, and then it won't grab at all. Take your time with this. You wanna do it right. You know it sucks. Now they do sell tools for this. Maybe ask them at your local AutoZone or tool store or something. But I'm showing you how to do it with household stuff. Got it. <clears throat> See that? Wow. It takes a lot of effort, man. If you struggle with it, it's okay. It takes a while to do it, especially with not the right stuff. So this one goes up top. That's fitting a lot better. The one up top will go in easier than the bottom, for sure. See, and that's already done. See that? Okay. And look, you'll know, you know you did it right, okay? You see these tabs here on this plate? It's a tab there, a tab there. It's one in here, okay? So this shoe would have metal hooks like this it's laying on those tabs, okay? That's how we know we got it right. All right, cool, man. So I showed you guys how to put the parking brake on, right? The pads and all that, a new hardware, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how to adjust it so that when you push that brake, that, that parking brake, it actually holds, all right? So this is what you do. You're gonna, um, you're gonna do one of these here. You see this, uh, this right here? Cool. And you see this hole here? All right. Put that there. Line it up. Doing this with one hand is awesome. Getting all my strength. Now, you see how you can spin it freely? Not that bad to spin it, right? When you start adjusting this little thing in there, you're either going to go up, you're either going to go like this, or down okay but i think it's up you're gonna hear it click you hear that okay you're moving it up right okay now watch what happens if i went the right way this should get harder to turn now if it's still super easy to turn i must be going the wrong way so let's actually look at it and see so what happens if I do like that? Does it open? No, that closes it. See how that closes it? So I wanna go down, all right? I'm gonna go down when I have the thing in there. So let's try it again. Put this bad boy back on. So I'm gonna go in the downward direction because that's what's gonna open that pin up. You hear it? You should hear it. And then you wanna do that a couple times and spin it. When this thing gets a little bit tough to spin, all right, that's when you stop. It's still easy for me to turn it, so I'm gonna go a little bit harder. I'm gonna go some more. So, See how we're starting to get some resistance now? I'm gonna go a little bit more. And you'll feel it if you're on it or if you're not on it, it'll make like a certain sound. And you'll just feel it. Uh, 
you had a light, you could just look in there. That's a lot smarter than what I'm doing. But I'm just trying to help you guys out. So you get the point. You go, you keep, you keep adjusting this until this gets fairly tight to move. All right, once it's tight, you know that you have enough, you know, you know that it's adjusted enough. And when you hit the parking brake, it'll actually engage. You see how, you see what happened now? See how it's so tight that it can't even move? Okay. So we're just gonna bring it back up, right? See that? So we're very close. I don't want it to lock up, but I also don't want it to be too loose. I'm gonna hit it down like two notches and then be done. This little thing is not easy to find. Uh oh. Dang, Frank, you can't find it, man. What's wrong with you, dog? Cool. So see, that's like right at the point. So I'm gonna take it back once and I can move. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that. I don't have to go any tighter, okay? That's that's perfect. When I, when I engage that parking brake, this will grab perfectly and it'll give me the stop that I need. All right, so that's how you adjust it, guys. It should have a plastic little rubber thing here uh, I'll have to get one for mine, but boom, there you go. If you guys enjoyed that, please like, comment, and share. Uh, subscribe, man. You know, we're going to keep doing these car videos. Let's get it.